Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can review your altitude records on your Casio ProTrek PRG270 watch. So when we talk about altitude records, you actually have three different values you can look at. You have your manual recording, so if you're out and you're using altimeter mode, you're at a spot that you want to record the altitude values, you can do a manual recording on this watch and you can save up to 30 of those to go back and review. You've also got automatic save, which basically is anytime you're in the altimeter mode, whether you save it or not, the watch is always looking for your maximum and minimum altitude values. And then aside from that, the watch has a trek mode, which basically is like for a timed hike. You're going out, you're doing a, a hike, or you're doing some mountain climbing, and you want to track your altitude during that specific period of time. You can do that on this watch as well. You can save 14 of those in your uh, record logs. And I'm gonna show you how you can review all of that stuff. So I've done videos that walk you through the altimeter. In the past, we're just gonna be looking at reviewing those logs. From your main timekeeping mode, you're going to press the mode button. It is the bottom left button. You're gonna press it twice. The first time you press it, it's gonna take you to the sunrise and sunset mode. The second time, you will see REC, and it will basically take you into your record log. Now, depending on which log you looked at last, your screen value can differ here. So you can see mine here is showing max, showing feet, and it's showing the date. I can tell basically by looking at this that I'm in the totals for the watch. If you press the barometer button, the middle button on the right hand side, that'll kind of take you through your different cycles. It's a little bit tricky the way they did this here, but if I press the barometer button, I see this MT1. MT is going to stand for your trek modes. If I press it again, you'll see MT2, MT3, and you can see, here's my feet values. You can press the altimeter button to look at my minimum, my ascend total, my descend for that given trek. If I press barometer again, it takes me to trek four, and then it takes me to an O1. The reason for that is I only have four treks saved on the watch out of my 14. So once I've gone through all of my treks, it's gonna take me to the next mode. In my case, it's gonna it's gonna start your manual modes, your total mode, and then your trek mode. Because I went in straight to the total mode, the next thing it took me to was my trek modes. I went through all my trek modes. Now it's taking me to my manual saves. So you can see it says rec, and then it has some feet value here, and it's showing a time and a date. I can press the compass button to move through my manual recordings. That's my 11th recording, 10th, 9th, so on and so forth. I can also use the ALTI button, the bottom right button, to move up through those values. Each of these are manually saved recordings that I did when I was in my altimeter mode. So for example, number five was 270 feet below sea level. Here was the date that that recording was taken, and there's the time that that recording was taken. So once you're in your manual modes, you're going to basically use the compass or the altimeter button to move through them. When you want to go to the next set of recordings, which would be the total, I'm going to press the barometer button. That takes me to my total values, and you can see my maximum. The maximum altitude I've ever recorded was 400 feet above sea level. There was the date. There was the time. I can again use the compass and altimeter button, but again, now I'm in the totals, so I can get to my minimum, my ascend total, and my decent total. Once I'm done viewing those, if I press barometer, it'll take me to my trek values. And again, we're seeing the same thing as we saw before. Trek number one's information, I can use the compass altimeter button to review it. If I press barometer, it takes me to trek two, three, four, and then back to my manual modes because I only have four. That's a quick look at how to view them. I've done a video in the past that walks you through how to go through and delete certain values or delete all the values. I'm not gonna get into all of that. In this video, once you're done record, uh, viewing your recordings, you can simply press the mode button a few times to get back to your timekeeping mode, or you can always press and hold the mode button. No matter what mode you're in, it will always take you back to your time mode if you press and hold it. Pretty simple stuff. That's how you review your recordings for your altitude values on your ProTrek PRG270 watch. I hope the video helped.